Hi guys, it's Sarah. Okay, me filming my July favorite video. So if you want to know what are my July favorites, just stay tuned. So first, we're going to start with all of my makeup favorites. The first one I'm going to be talking about is the concealer that I've really been enjoying this month. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have the shade 15 Fair. So I take the I take the um, applicator, dot it under my eyes, sometimes around my nose, sometimes on blemishes, and then I use my beauty blender to blend it out, and I've really been enjoying this concealer. It's like $10 at the drugstore, and it is totally worth it. I bought this after I saw Lauren on Lauren Made Beauty raving about this. I decided to pick it up when I went to CVS, and I really liked it. It was a good purchase. The foundation that I've really been enjoying this month is the Rimmel Lasting Finish in the shade, what shade do I have? In the shade Ivory. I'm wearing it on my skin today, this foundation. It is a really nice foundation. I really like it. I prefer foundations because this foundation doesn't have a pump, but I prefer foundations that have a pump, but I like the formula of this foundation so much that I don't care that it doesn't have a pump. You can see, like, it's very, like, it doesn't look cakey, doesn't, like, look weird, and I really like it. I bought this. The only thing that I don't like about this foundation, I probably shouldn't even be using it. I might have to bring it back and repurchase it. You can see that that says, um, April 2nd, 2017. April 2017, and you can see, like, that means it's already expired, but... I bought it, like, in July, and I'm like, why is this foundation already expired? But I like it, so I might just want to return it and say, like, hey, people at CBS, you have a foundation that is expired on your shelf. Like, do not sell that, no, but I like it, and I would recommend it. Next is the Wet n' Wild Pressed, Pressed Photo Compact. This is a photo focus powder from... Wet n Wild. I have the shade Warm Light. It's kind of a little bit domed, like a little domed. It's not. I really like it though. It's a nice powder. I use it um, to set my concealer and foundation, and it works great for that. It is just great. It's a really nice. It's like very smooth. Goes on smooth, and I recommend it. It is a very nice powder. It keeps you matte all day long, which is what I am looking for because I have oily skin. So this is great for that. Then, what I've been using to cream contour is the NYX Wonder Stick, Highlight and Contour Stick. So I'll put on my foundation and concealer, and then I'll use the contour side of this. I'll contour right here, I'll contour over here, my um, right near my hairline, nose, sometimes on the sides of my lips. And then I'll take the highlight side, and I'll put some of the highlight side down the bridge of my nose, a little right there, sometimes on my forehead below where I put the contour just to clean it up a little and then I used my beauty blender to blend it in and it works great I have the shade light medium and, it, and it's a perfect match for my skin tone it works great and it blends out super well I would highly recommend checking out this contour stick it is absolutely amazing and then f for blush you all know I mentioned this it's in my project pan this is the Melon Drama Blush from Revlon. This looks like this. I've hit pan on it. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. It's the perfect summer blush color because yeah, um, yesterday I wore this shade and I didn't have I didn't wear a highlight with it because I was running out the door and I didn't want to take the time to apply highlight. And I really like it because it's a blush, but it's like nicely shimmery. It's quite nice. It costs like eight dollars at CVS. I recommend these blushes. I have like all of them, and this this is one of my favorite ones. It's in my project pan. You can see I've used a lot of it because this blush is amazing. I would recommend it. It's great. For highlighter, I've really been liking the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in the shade Euphoric Strobe Light. This is from Hourglass. It is a very glittery highlight, though. Like, beware. Like, if you don't like glittery highlights, I would not recommend you getting this because you can see, like, I'll, put, I'll, put, I'll do a little swatch for you guys, like... You can see, like, how glittery that is. Oh, my God. I'm getting highlighter all over me right now. You can see, like, how glittery that highlight is. It is so glittery, but I really do like it. When I want a glittery highlight, this is what I go for. Like, this was in my Ride or Die makeup, makeup tag, which means I must really like it, which I do, and I bought it at Sephora, and it is amazing. But if you don't like glittery highlight, I wouldn't recommend it, but 
If you're on the glittery highlight train, oh, go ahead and buy it because I would recommend it. Next, I have a contour kit that I've really been liking. It is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I have something in my teeth. Sorry, guys. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. So this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. I got this for Christmas, and I didn't really use it that much when I got it for Christmas. But once I started using the NYX, um, the NYX, con um, the NYX contour thing, the um, the cream contour thing, this one, I've been using this in conjunction as my powder contour, and it is perfect. I love this palette, and it's working great. I love the pigmentation. I love all the powders in here. I would definitely recommend it. It is a great contour kit. Next, for eyeshadow, I've really been into my Wet n Wild eyeshadows. This one, I depotted the Comfort Zone. I have Petal Pusher, a Revlon palette, and I have um, Sweetest Candy Trio down there. I've really been, I, one day um, recently, I wore the green one, the green tr green quad in the, walk, uh, in the Comfort Zone palette, and it looked great. I love wearing green eyeshadow. I love the duochrome. Like, I love the duochrome, that, like, the d that definer shade right there. It's a really pretty duochrome, and I love the way, I love the palettes that I have that I depotted in here. They're really nice. I would recommend you check out these palettes. They're, like, $6 at Rite Aid, and I love them. Like, just look how pretty that duochrome shade is. Like, that is, like, it's really pigmented. Even though it's drugstore, it's quite nice. I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Also for my eyes, I've really been into the 24-hour color tattoo from Maybelline, and this is the shade Bad to the Bronze. I have used quite a bit of it, as you can see. I'm wearing it under my eye look today, because as you know that I mentioned in my Project Pan video, I have been wearing I have been wearing the eye look with the Too Faced shadow in Amaretto and the Lorac Pro shadow in Sable. And this is what I have been using as my base. It, is, it works perfectly because it's like almost the same shade as the Too Faced Amaretto. And I really like it. I think this is great. It helps my eyeshadows not decrease because they used to crease on me a lot. And this has helped make sure that doesn't happen. So yeah, I really like that. Then we have the NYX Brow, Brow Cake Powder in the shade Taupe. I bought this recently at Ult I mean at um, Bed Bath and Beyond and I've been wearing it a lot. It's just a brow kit. There's the wax and you have two powders. I like the slightly cooler toned powder for my brows, but it works great and I love it. I would recommend it. I just take a little of the wax, put it in my brows, then I take one, um, the cooler toned powder and fill in my brows and it works perfectly. And I like how tiny this is so it'd be great for traveling and I really like it. Then, when I filmed my other video, my Project Pan video, I forgot to show you my Maybelline Brow Kit. And I have been using this a lot. It's a very nice brow kit. As you can see, I have hit pan on the wax. I did that a while ago. And then I've been working on the powders. I've been using this a fair amount. I don't fill in my brows like every day. Like today, I didn't even do anything to my brows. But when I do fill in my brows, this is the brow kit that I go for. It, make, it, lo it looks natural, it's really nice, and I would recommend that. Then, the other thing that I forgot to mention in my Project Pan video was the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette Semi-Sweet. I have been working on the shade right there called Butter Pecan. It is just a, like, yellowy highlight shade. It is really nice. I, would, I love this palette. But I've been working on that highlight shade. I'm wearing it on my brow bone today, and... It works great. I, I'm, I'm getting more into like yellow tone highlights and less like pink tone highlights and that shade Butter Pecan is perfect for that. And then for lip products, I have been really liking my baby lips in the shade My Pink. So it's like a, you put it on your lips and then it gets darker depending on the pH of your lips. It's really cool. Like I wore this yesterday and I love it. And also, it smells like cupcakes and, like, frosting, so that's a bonus, and I really like it. I bought mine at CVS. It cost, like, five bucks, and it is a really cute packaging. And I love that it changes. Like, let me give you guys a swatch here, see if it will...
do any of the color changing, but you can see it right there. It's kind of getting a little darker, like depending on the pH of your hands, hand or lips, and I think that is really cool. Then the lipsticks that I have really been enjoying this month, I have two by Urban Decay. I have the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Rapture. I have been wearing this shade all the time. It is like, like a good, like it's not neutral, but it's not super deep, and I think it looks great on my lips. I love that shade. I have been wearing it like all the time. It is like in my purse everywhere. Like I wear that shade all the time. And the other shade from Urban Decay that I've really been into is the shade Tranced in a metalized finish. It just looks like this. It's more of a nude. It's like a nude, but it's like metal. Met metalized, and it's really cool. I really love this color. It's right there. It is such a pretty color, and it is great. I wear this when I want more of a nude lipstick, and it works great. Now, moving on to skincare. The skincare that I've been into this month. The first one is the Ac Acure Energizing Body Wash. Moroccan Argan Stem Cell and Argan Oil. And I've been using this as a body wash, and it smells really nice. It smells, let me see. It smells like, I don't really know exactly what it smells like. Whoa, bubbles everywhere. Whoa. But it's a really nice body wash. I use it all the time. I've repurchased this, like, I think three times. That's how much I love it, and I thought I could let you guys know about this, and I buy it at Whole Foods, and it is perfect. I just buy it in the body care section, and it works absolutely great. I want to try out a different one that's not en the energizing one, but this one just smells so good, so I've just been like, I know I like it, so I'm going to repurchase it, but it is a very good body wash. Then I have the Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Overnight, Overnight Acne Treatment. As you can see, I have quite a few breakouts on my skin right now because I'm a teenager and I break out. And so I've been using the Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Overnight Acne Treatment. And you just take a little bit, put it on any pimples or acne that you have. Like, do it like before you go to bed when you're not wearing makeup. And I do it then. And then my skin will be clear even by the time I wake up in the morning. Like, it's perfect. Like, you just leave it on and... Then you just wait until morning, and then you see if your skin's clear. And I think it actually works. Like, I bought this at Ulta, and it works great. I would recommend it. Then I have the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Foaming Scrub. And this is from Neutrogena, and I use this as a face scrub when I am in the shower. It works great. I just scrub it all over my face, and then I rinse it off. And it works really well. And the thing I also like about it is it smells like grapefruit. Ah, oh, it smells so good. That also motivates me to use it, say, thinking that it, knowing that every time I open it, it smells good. I recommend this. It's a really good cleanser. Like, it really cleans your skin well. Like, you know your skin's not dirty when you use this. It's great. Then, I have the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This I have been loving. As you can see, I've used quite a, quite a bit of it up. I have been loving it. Loving it. I use it at the end of the day. I take a little bit, rub it over all over my skin on my eyes. It doesn't irritate your eyes, which is great. I rub it all over my skin, and then I just rinse it off, and it cleanses my skin and takes away all of my makeup. Like, it is a win-win. I love that product. And the last thing, I know you guys have heard me talk about this before, but it's the My Shell Clear Skin Pore Refiner. I use this all over my skin after I wash my face. I will do two pumps and I'll spread it all over my face and it helps clear my skin and it's a pore refiner and it works great. I already have a backup of this. I can't even tell you how many times I have repurchased this. It is like amazing. I totally recommend this. I buy this at my Whole Foods and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other videos you would like me to film. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!